Yeah, I'm in the SRI booth at Cynic 2012 with Bert. Um, exactly. Bert. And then your last name spoke, I pronounced Vine? Yes, Vine, Vine is the... Uh, okay. Cool, that's exactly cool. Okay. Fine. <laughs> so uh, he's the uh, park manager for uh, SRI. And I guess you have, um, I guess, two products here to show. Yes. Kind of. Uh, yeah, actually, just go ahead and show me uh, the larger one first. Yeah, okay. So we are specialists for radio frequency products, and we are very new in this business here for, for camera equipment. But we present here some um, product to transmit HD uh, video uh, signals in real time, uh, for, exa for example, from the camera to um, a receiver, which is uh, mounted over there. Okay. And um, let's, you know, let's talk about the transmitter a little bit here. So you have two, yeah. well, you've got HD SCI, and then yes. I guess two plugs. So one is just a pass through. Yes, one is the input and one is pass through. Um, and uh, the third plug here is for, is for, for uh, power okay. supply. What kind of voltage does this thing accept? So it's a wide, wide range power supply, oh. with 36 volts to 8 volt. Normally we use 12 volts, which is mostly fine. For, for many cameras, but uh, we also have some adapter cable which can be connected. So this is Hyros, Hyros connector here oh. and can be plugged. And on the other side we have XLR, oh, which okay. is uh, compatible to many camera right. systems uh, to supply this uh, transmitter directly from camera power supply. So I guess what is the power usage for the transmitter? Like what kind of, how many watts are we looking at? So it's about eight watts. Okay, okay so yeah. power will just display anything. No, it's not too much. Uh, so, Excellent. Yeah, so th uh, and this is, uh, uh, this is the, this, this powerful transmitter has a range about 50, 60 meters. Okay. Uh, we tested line, already. Not line of sight. Not line of sight, and it's not necessary. You, we have an, uh, another transmitter which is smaller and which has a an, uh, an range about 15 meters. And, uh, Sorry, 15, you said? One five. Yeah, okay. one five, exactly. Uh, and this is f uh, fine for most in room uh, applications, for example, in a, in a monitor or something like that. I guess just for the record, you're connected to a Sony Alpha camera of some kind. Yeah, this is... Uh, just via HDMI. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what is this USB plug that's on the bottom of the... Okay, this is uh, for power supply. So, because um, uh, HDMI interface itself has no power supply support. Right. So we need a, an, another power supply and this is very fine because it's 5 volts and can be plugged to many, uh, many equipment. For example, the camera itself often has some uh, USB uh, port, for example, for memory sticks or something like that. Now, I guess if the camera didn't have uh, enough power to supply this uh, this device, like, is there a USB power supply of some kind? Yes. Could, to be, okay, yes. so you could still be autonomous if you weren't able to provide the power via USB to the camera. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the receiver. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I guess just for the record, the uh, new production receiver is not going to be clear. It's going to be... It's going to be... Yeah. Right, kind of like it's, uh, the, the, the normal receiver has the same case like like the uh, transmitter. But here for, uh, for the show, we have an, uh, um, this clear case <laughs> to, to have a, a view inside the box. And in this, in, in this case, we also have uh, HDMI because uh, this monitor is with HDMI. Oh, you have a... You see, this is the HDMI, which is oh, conne okay. connected directly to the, to the television. I see. Okay. And do you guys develop the silicon yourselves, or is it a different... No, like, it's, a, we, we it's all developed it our, yes, okay. it's our, our development. Cool. Now, I guess just back to, like, your... So for transmission protocol, or like, what, what kind of frame rates can you deal with? What kind of resolution? Okay, so we, we support uh, full HD. Uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second, but also, of course, if you have less, uh, for example, 720p or something, this is also supported. But we, uh, we can have uh, really full HD 1080p 60 frames per second in real time, uh, which means less than one millisecond latency time, uh, less than one frame. So this is very, very good. Okay, so this is suitable too for wireless focus pole. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I guess just to confirm as well, uh, color space, uh, 422 color space is supported? Yeah, for example, uh, 422 
Okay. So this is uh, very fine. Okay. Excellent. Uh, all right, Bert, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>